Okay, the next stage is the covers off. Um, you should have just sitting on top is the peg bag and the pole bag. You can just take those off and put them on the floor. Okay, once you get to the next stage, obviously you just pull your floor down. Drop that bit of the floor down. Pull the next, uh, next parts of the floor over. So you get those bits hanging down. Then there should be basically a couple of loose poles that ain't actually attached to the uh, camp trailer. You grab those and slide those off and then give it a pull and it should fold out. Important thing to know is when you actually pack it away, um, if you actually leave this end window rolled up all the time, it actually makes it a lot easier to pull out because um, it doesn't create a vacuum of air inside and then the air sucks in through the back window um, as you're actually pulling it out. Okay, and then you move to the next stage, you open the door, climb inside, you get these two poles here and actually put them into the two pockets that you see just inside the doors, as Daniel's doing here. And obviously the same on the other side, he's already done. And then the next stage is to lift these poles up, the two that are on a 45 at the minute. Just lift those up square. And the same on this side here as well. And you can lift these up a little bit taller, start spreading your bars out to make it start taking shape. Okay, here we have a little tip of just a quicker way of actually folding the windows up. Just make it a bit quicker for you in the mornings when you're getting out of your tent. Save rolling it up from top to bottom if you just fold it in half a few times. And that cuts down the time to roll them, roll them up. There's a few windows in this uh, tent and it's uh, Quite a few to do in the mornings when you get up every morning. So if you just fold them in half and half again, half again, then start rolling it from that point, which makes it a lot quicker and easier. When you open your tent up, there should be most of your uh, inside accessories, like your poles and stuff, laying on your bed. If they're not, the ones that are actually internally in the bed, um, obviously leave them laying on the actual bed when you pack it away, just so it's a lot quicker when you reset it up. Um, and obviously your annex walls and all your annex uh, flooring is left on the bed so if you're setting up in the wet you haven't got to throw those on the floor when you first flip it out and obviously grab those poles now Daniel will show you where those go there's two um, shorter poles and two longer poles that go each end of the tent two longer ones actually go by the door here with the white C clips on top and they clip into that point there on each side of the corner of the tent. So you just clip those in there and lower them down to the floor. When we generally pack these away, we don't bother shortening these poles down, we just pull them out of their clips and throw them straight on the bed so it's a lot quicker to reset up. And there's also two um, short poles with C to C clips on each end. Those actually go in between the two roof bars here, which spreads out the roof at that point there. That just gives you a bit more brace and support between the roof because they're a bit more independent and there's no actual uh, brace in there. So those can go in there. The next stage now is to probably peg the floor down. Um, if you peg this part of the floor down next to each side of the trailer and just trying to get that sort of square from your seam running down. And then you can go to the other end and pull the floor straight. 
and straighten out your floor that way. So it starts to look nice and square on your floor then. Then you can go inside, um, start spreading your, your poles out inside. It starts taking some of the shape. Now it starts looking into its shape there. You can see Daniel now just going around spreading some of these poles out. Start taking some of the shape there. And just at the back of the bedroom there, there's two little poles that actually clip in. Um, just to brace that pick up bit up at the back of the bed there. They just clip into the corner of the, uh, the bar there and just rest down on the bed base behind the corner of the mattress. Just lift the mattress up there and just spread those down and put them into place. Yeah, these, these should be roughly sort of sitting 90 degrees just so. Um, it's above the door there and take shape of the tent. And you can just go around and tweak all your little poles and just make that start looking to the shape of the tent. Here, I mean, normally we just roll the doors back together, just grab the fly screen and the actual um, canvas and just roll it back and use your little clips just to hold that door back there. New feature on this new deluxe model, we've actually added a rear door now, as you can see it through there. So now there's a front door and a rear door. And now you're pretty much set up on your main tent. I mean that in theory should take you 10 to 15 minutes once you've got comfortable with it and you know exactly how it goes. Uh, and the next stage is to add the annex.